My goodness, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Baby, you are still sleeping. Get up, I'm sure you wouldn't want to be late for school. Mom, I don't feel so good. I feel very sick. I don't think I'll go to school today. Sick? How? What do you mean by you're sick? Baby. Well, baby, you seem okay to me. Very good. Is there anything you want to tell me? Are you sure? All right. What do we say about speaking out and using our words? Using our words give us a voice mm -hmm. in the crowd and it helps us stand out. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm? That's very good. And remember to be loud when you are speaking. Okay? Now, is there anyone bullying you in school? No one. Are you sure? Huh. All right. If anyone is bullying you, you will tell me, isn't it? Yes, mommy. Huh? Yes, mom. Good. Now I need you to get up. Hmm? I don't want you to be late for school. Get up. Come on. Get up. I guess we both have to pretend like you did nothing nasty in there. I am getting another cloth for you and I'll run your bath because you are going to school today. By the time I come back, we'll talk about this. Start getting ready. the noise for?
And where is she going? Make sure you drop them at the office. I told you to drop those files on the table in my office. Have you done it? Then what are you still waiting for? Hello, baby. How are you? How was school? Get those models ready because I need about 10 of them. Have them fired up. This morning because of your incompetence. Huh? Honestly, I don't even know why I'm paying you anyways. What is that? Listen, do not argue with me. Just see, I'll call you back. Sweetie. Oh, sweetie, cutie pie. No. This is the one I want you to wear. This is better. Hmm? Looks more beautiful. Mom, can I use Auntie Imelda's cream today? Imelda? Oh, baby cutie. This is the cream I want you to use. Is that okay? I think I will buy from you because of your beauty, okay? Thank you. And so how much is your goose? It was 500. You need a one. Daughter? No, no, I'm, I'm the teacher. Where's the mother then? I don't know. I don't know. I called her. She should be here anywhere from now. Doctor, what's the problem? Where is Emma? Oh, what's going on? Madam, please have a seat. What, what's going on? I really don't know. Just have a seat. Let's hear what he has to say. Doctor, please, where's my daughter? She was fine this morning before she left to school. Madam, I need you to Emma. calm down. Huh? Okay? Okay. Just calm down. Good. From my personal assessment, I don't think your child has been feeling fine for a very long time now. No? Yes. She's good. All we are doing is 
you know, to stabilize your daughter. Yes, I mean, she is very, very fortunate to have been wooed in here as at the time she did. Okay, doctor, please. Um, what is her condition like at the moment? Please excuse us. All right, I'll just be outside, okay? I'll be outside. Uh, Madam, I have to ask you this. Does this child live with you? Yes. She's my daughter. I know. So that means, in fact, you're aware and also responsible for the bleaching on her skin. Um, whitening. It is called whitening, not bleaching. Oh, that's just some fancy term to describe the condition which you've meted out to that poor child. All right, um, what is wrong with her? The problem right now is that your daughter is not in the best of shape. Yes. She doesn't need the products that you've been using on her skin. Um, doctor, please. What exactly are we dealing with here? Could you please just let me know? Go ahead. We're dealing with a very serious case of mercury poisoning. And that is as a direct result of all the product that you've exposed her skin to. And I'm sure you're not even aware, your daughter has been having some serious symptoms over the days. Yes, she's had fatigue, sensitivity to light. Well, we have to act fast in order to save that kidney from failing. Is that serious? Of course it is. Very serious. Um, doctor, I was only trying to help her. Help? Yes. But I'm excuse you. But what you have been doing is to gradually kill the cells of that young girl by subjecting her to that. No. The world out there is cruel. If you don't look beautiful enough, then... Nothing justifies... Yes? All right, right away. Excuse me. judges we've talked and we decided to go with Stephanie. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. As for you, better luck next time. You have the talent and the physique, but your skin is just not light enough for me. Maybe if you're like four, five, six shades lighter, we can start talking. This is showbiz, my dear. Your talent cannot do anything for me if I can't sell your beauty. You know, dark-skinned girls like you and I, we deserve to be behind the camera. Because the camera just likes light skin better. So you have been rejected.
Doktor. Doktor. Ah, madam. Aren't you supposed to be in the room with your daughter? No. I feel awful. I can't even bring myself to be in the same room with her. Also, you know, I have done a lot of harm to my baby. I understand how you feel, okay? But you have to take it easy on yourself. What's done is done, all right? We owe ourselves the obligations to look out for the best possible outcome. All right? Let's just hope she pulls through this. Is she gonna be all right? I don't know for now. Let's be hopeful. All right? I have to be on my way now. Thank you. 